Mr. President, it appears there's been another mass shooting in California. What do you know? Well, we don't know that much yet. It's still an active situation. The FBI is on the ground uh, offering assistance to local officials as they need it. Um, it does appear that there are going to be some casualties. And, uh, you know, obviously our, our hearts go out to the victims and, and, and the families. The one thing we do know is that uh, you know, we have a pattern now of, of mass shootings in this country that uh, has no parallel anywhere else in the world. And there's some steps we could take not to eliminate every one of these mass shootings, uh, but uh, to improve the odds that uh, they don't happen as frequently. Uh, mm -hmm. Common sense, gun safety laws, mm -hmm. uh, stronger background checks. You know, and you know, for those who are concerned about terrorism, uh, you know, some may be aware of the fact that we have uh, a no-fly list where people can't get on planes, but those same people who we don't allow to fly could go into a store right now in the United States and buy a firearm, and there's nothing that we can do to stop them. Uh, that's a law that needs to be changed. Uh, and so, you know, my hope is is that um, you know, we're able to contain this particular shooting, and, and uh, we don't yet know what the motives uh, of, of the shooters are. Uh, but what we do know is is that there are steps we can take to make uh, Americans safer, uh, and that we should come together in a bipartisan basis at every level of government to, um, to you know, make these rare uh, as opposed to normal. We should never think that uh, this is uh, something that just happens in the ordinary course of events, because it doesn't happen uh, with the same frequency in other countries. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much, Norm.